We got a fun one for you guys today. This is our first impression of Ooh La Rouge by Christian Siriano with Leslie. <laughs> we're gonna figure out if this is a blind buy or a bust. And we're gonna do our first impressions live on camera, recorded and then uploaded to YouTube. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Are you excited about this video? Yeah. Cool. So this is a fragrance that's marketed for women. I don't know about the brand. I already got the money though, so I can be as honest as I want. And so can Leslie, because she didn't get nothing for this. Nothing. Okay, so let's open this up. A little ASMR, as usual. <laughs> Tingly. No. Also comment below if you think I should start an fragrance unboxing ASMR channel. We open up the box and look what we have here. Some lipstick for you. Some lipstick for you. <laughs> it's actually lip gloss, yeah. which is interesting. We, we're gonna test this out. This is a, a J Royal first, um, <laughs> testing out lip gloss. Pretty cool. I wonder if it smells like the fragrance. You can hold on to that for now. Would you open it? Open it, but don't like test it out yet. No, I'll just take it out. Of Ooh, so. hopefully, hopefully the mic picked that up. Okay, now inside, a bit of a shaky, shaky packaging, but we have a pretty cool looking bottle. Ooh, wow, that's fancy. See you later, box. Um, yeah, so this is the bottle. It's glass, but I believe the cap is plastic. Um, you know, which is neither here nor there, because if, if it tips over, it's less likely to break, which is kind of a good thing. Um, I don't see it tipping over. Look at the size of that. Very bottom, bottom. heavy. Bottom. <laughs> That's it. So it has Oula Rouge written along the atomizer in a little thin black font. Yeah. I like those details there. You're not going to be able to see that, but it, it is there. Distributed in New York, but made in Dublin, Ireland. You're not even Irish though, so who I'm cares? I'm not. <laughs> All right, Leslie. So I'm going to put this on my skin first and we're going to see how it is. So let's test out the atomizer. Decent. The first has a little bit of wiggle to it, but okay. Let's uh, let's smell this thing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Liking it, eh? It smells like Go on. something that I have. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It smells a little bit. It's like the one I have at home. First of all, you like the fragrance. Yeah. What would you give it out of 10? I'd say it's like a, an 8.8. .8. An 8.8. .8. And is that from the perspective of a woman's perfume or a dude's cologne? Me. You. That's from me wearing you. it. So if I wear this, you'd be like, what are you doing? I feel as though you could get, a boy could wear it, but in just very specific. Mm -hmm. So the classification of this fragrance, as far as I know, is oriental floral. So oriental in fragrances is kind of like a, a kind of a sweet spiciness. Okay. And then the floral aspect is flowers. Eee. You nailed it right in the head. It does smell like a fragrance that you have, which is a Parfums Vintage fragrance that is cloning a fragrance called Baccarat Rouge 540 by Francis Kirkjohn. So yes, there are a lot of similarities to that fragrance big time. But right off the bat, I get a little more floral aspect. And I think that is what kind of differentiates it, it a tad. It's lighter. It's the other bit, one's like really like. Yeah, the other one's very abrasive. It has like almost like a real spice to it. It's like, it's sharper. Yeah, feels like, the, the other one feels like it's been cooked. Been cooked, yeah. Well, like, background Rouge, it tends to get labeled as kind of like a burnt sugar type of feel. Which, well, there we go. Which goes right with your cooked feel. <laughs> so yes, it does have a lot of similarities to it. I don't know if it was directly meant to clone Baccarat Rouge 540, but it smells a lot like it. And I think in the air, it would smell even closer to it rather than right up close. I don't have the Parfums Vintage fragrance to it's sort in, of compare it to. It's in Scotland. Yeah, it's in Scotland. It's still a great smelling fragrance. Mm -hmm. It no, smells really nice. What do you think of the presentation, Leslie? It's pretty. It's pretty, yeah. yeah. Value-wise, I wanna talk about this. So, from your perspective, how much would you be willing to spend for a bottle of this stuff? If you, let's say you didn't have the Parfums Vintage one already, mm -hmm. 
and you just smelled this and you're like, wow, I want this in my collection. What's the maximum you would spend on this? Like a hundred. A hundred? Yeah. Okay, a hundred bucks. And you'd yeah. feel fine about that. Yeah. Cool. It's good. So it's on par with like your Chanel's, your Dior's, you know, which makes sense because, I mean, it's supposed to be like a three, four, five hundred dollar fragrance in the Baccarat Rouge. So quality wise, guys, really, really impressed here, but it does have a lot of similarities to Baccarat Rouge 540. This is right now on fragrance buy for, I believe, 90 to 100 dollars. So it's right on the money. Uh, it's not an insane value proposition like some of the other much cheaper clones you can get out there by Armoff and things like that. But what you do get is a great smell, a great quality smell, right from the opening too. Right as soon as we sprayed it on, we're like, this is good. It smells mm -hmm. really nice. If you want more information on this, we can do a more in-depth review at some point. But I think we got to get to what everyone really cares about, the lip gloss. Do you want it on? <laughs> um, I'm okay. First of all, let's do a smell test. It smells like sweeties. Yeah, does not smell like <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540. It, it smells like strawberry. It smells like strawberry though. Those, um, it's not, it's like a lace. Twizzlers. Kind of, yeah, Twizzlers. It smells like a Twizzler. Yeah. But tw like what well, Twizzlers smell like they should taste and then they taste like that. But then nothing. Twizzlers are huge, like bummer yeah, and- Massive bummer because they smell amazing. Do you want me to put it on? Yeah. You want to put it on for me? Sure. Is this okay? I don't know. I hope it's uh, washable. What do, what do I do with my lips? Just just relax. <laughs> oh no, it's really red. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be like clear. This is like lipstick, eh? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave the, the top lip. <laughs> This is what I do for you guys and you. <laughs> You're getting a kick out of this, huh? <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that red. Do you think it looks like a, it looks good. a good product? <laughs> yes. Skill from one to 10, what do you think of this lip gloss? I think it's more like of a stain than a gloss. A lip stain, even better. <laughs> it's gonna be like this all day. You got appointments and everything. No, you'll be able to get it off. Okay. No, no, no. no it looks yeah. good. I mean, it's not my color. Yeah. <laughs> it's your color. It's a very classic red, like. <laughs> so, when packaged together, does the value become that much better? Because you get both of these for you the same price. You do get both. That's that's true. So how much would something like this cost normally? Like ten bucks? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can get expensive ones, but I wouldn't buy. Yeah. I wouldn't spend money on, because I don't like red lipstick. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> My lips are all sticky. Maybe that yeah, means it's, it's waterproof. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not a gloss. <laughs> it's a more of a satin finish. So I think just by nature of this being included in the package, this is a woman's thing. <laughs> this is a, a, a fragrance <laughs> set for women, not for me, but maybe you have a significant other in your life that happens to be a woman and it could be a great gift choice for them. Uh, just so you know, it doesn't smell all that unique because it is kind of Baccarat Rouge-esque, but compared to a lot of the other just basic floral perfumes out there that you would get at the drugstore, it mm -hmm. smells completely different from those. So if you're not even familiar with Baccarat Rouge 540 and you wanna smell like it, consider this, Yeah, really do it. And um, feeling more and more uncomfortable by the second, so. <laughs> uh, links below if you wanna pick this up. Um, check out Fragrance Buy. If you know about Fragrance Buy, you already know. Great prices, great Canadian company, they're great. Uh, and Leslie's great too. Thank you for helping me today. It's okay. Thank you for making me feel like a clown, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's the end of the video. Okay, bye. <laughs>